Australia, Zaire, Guatemala, France, Israel, Burma, Kuwait, Germany, Bosnia, Singapore, Japan, Somalia. The names of these nations are like names of individual people. People with different personalities, characteristics, and values. Nations are people, and the United Nations is united people. On different continents, with different social and economic environments to adapt to, we're outwardly unlike each other in many ways. And yet, aren't we the same? Within the realm of the United Nations, mankind from every corner of our world comes together and works expertly with the tools of communication, trust, and respect towards the anticipated and consummate solution of peace. Lord Robert Cecil had lived through it all. He had worked with Smuts and Woodrow Wilson on the writing of the Covenant of the League of Nations, and through all those years between the wars, struggled to keep it strong and effective. It was, they said, the war for democracy, the war to end all war. But soon they saw the glamour had gone forever from combat, to be replaced by a grotesque new technology of destruction, embracing aerial bombing and mustard gas. The casualty figures after a major battle would look like the population statistic for a large city. An entire generation of Europe's youth was wiped out. It was parade's end, wrote Ford Maddox Ford. And there were to be no more parades. After four years of Holocaust and torment, the world was screaming.